Elizabeth Vargas and welcome to 2020 in touch. Here's a look at what we're working on for this week's 2020. Had a good family she had a good life she She calls herself Petra Luna. She has a website devoted to a war on child abuse. She invites people to become soldiers in her war. Have you gotten people arrested? Oh sure. Petra Luna is a big supporter of the sex registries. Aren't some people on the registries kids who at age 16 had sex with another kid? Yeah, well, that's not very likely. But it does happen, and yes, it, it, you know, kids do end up, you know, one is right on the edge of the age, and one is right on the edge of the age. Yes, it does happen. They get put in the registry along with 40-year-old rapists. Yeah, but what are you going to do? I mean, it's too bad that they have those things go on, but it's a necessary evil. She's particularly angry at Jan Kruska, who runs this website that compares the registries to a hungry wolf that eats the innocent. People like her. There's one more to go. Yep. Jan is a mother of four who, when she was 22, 16 years ago, had sex, mutually consensual sex, with a 15-year-old boy. She pled guilty to engaging in intercourse with a minor and was surprised to find herself put on Arizona's sex registry. Now she has a website that warns others, think twice before you go to the police and accuse someone, because they, like she, will be branded forever. She wants to be off of the registry. Shouldn't she be off the registry? She Absolutely said she not. had consensual sex. Absolutely not. She sexually molested a 15-year-old boy in her 20s. We contacted the boy. He says the sex wasn't coerced and that Jan was hot. Does it matter if he says was okay with me? No. Does she deserve to be harassed by you for that? Yes. Harassed she is. Ku Klux Jan. I might just be in your backyard watching you. On your website you call her a predator. You've got this actress posing as her. That's me. That's you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> She's not picking up a boyfriend at middle school. It's a joke. Not to Jan. She felt so threatened by Petra Luna's attack that she sued her and fearing for her own safety, a bought a me, gun. Actually. It's a 357 Magnum. I got this after the onslaught of attacks and threats mm -hmm. that I received. You've published her address. Doesn't that threaten her kids? I never published her address. Okay. But My I associates have, have published her address. I just don't understand where you're going with this, sir. <laughs> I'm going with this because I think you're a bully. Well, pedophiles don't play by the rules. But pedophile implies she's out there molesting kids. She's not doing that. This is a war. This is, this is serious business. Shouldn't she have a right to say, this registry has wrecked my life and it no. might wreck yours? No. I'm the voice for the children. I am their side. We hope you'll watch 2020 on the air for two special hours every Friday night in March, beginning at 9 o'clock, 8 o'clock Central. And keep checking out our webcasts and previews of upcoming stories posted online at abcnews.com. I'm Elizabeth Vargas. For all of us at 2020, we're in touch, so you be in touch.